Hi guys! Today I'm going to do a look which I thought would be great for spring and also using all drugstore products. So I hope you like it. It's just a simple everyday nude and natural look hopefully. First I'm going to use my e.l.f. primer, mineral infused primer. It just it's like a silicone, clear silicone texture and it just smooths it feels silky smooth on the skin I do think it feels very similar to the original Bare Minerals Primer If I look to the side at all it's just that I'm looking in the camera in this lighting, sorry if the lighting's not very good, but I'm coming off very pinky my skin on this film, but I'm actually uh, have a yellow slash neutral tone to my skin. Okay, I just want to make sure I've got every area covered with this primer. It does smooth easily so the silicone texture in it okay what next now I'm going to use the L'Oreal true match foundation this is the shade rose ivory or C1 and it's a bit too light for me which is weird I think well a bit too pinky tone for me but I'm just going to be looking in the mirror for this It's actually coming off quite well. It used to be so pinky toned for me, but now it's actually quite a good shade. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna apply it over the forehead. I can't really see in this viewfinder, but just make sure I've got everywhere I want to cover up. I do actually really like the feel of this foundation. It goes on really well with this primer. I haven't used this combination in a long time. I've been loving my bare minerals, but this is pretty good. I'm impressed. But it's done well. Just thought I'd better try today something different. You shall see. I'm liking it so far. This amra comes out so pink and pale, but actually, I do have, you know, it's a lot darker in real life. I don't know why that is. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. I'm supposed to be surprised that it used to be so pinky toned for me, that foundation. That must come out really nice. Now I'm going to use concealer. I'm going to be using the Garnier Roll On Concealer in the shade Very Fair Skin Tone. I'm just going to lightly dab under the Eyelid. Put some blush on, I think. Take this L'Oreal Dream Touch blush in this peachy shade. I usually just high my cheeks. Or I can get this stippling brush, which I have here, and just dab it in there. Just blend it in. Okay. This next 
Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm just delicately with my middle finger just rub it in a bit just to act as a base. And I can see hopefully you can see guys. Um now I've got different options for eyeshadow. I've got tapestry taupe for cover girl and I've got champagne from cover girl. Or I've got Maybelline Color Tattoo in Eternal Gold. Or I've got Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze, which is this one. In the UK it's called On and On Bronze. I actually got this in the US. Well, my sister picked it up for me in the US, so this is actually the Bad to the Bronze one. I think I'm going to go for Tapestry Taupe. And this in the crease okay I'm actually lucky how this is turning up See, this is coming off really light in the camera, but <laughs> it's really not. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Just putting this into the crease. This is a eyeshadow brush I got from Borghese once from a set Costco. And we used to be members of Costco. I've had it for a year, a few years now. Quite good. I would recommend the Borghese set if you don't want to fork out on other brushes. They are pretty good quality brushes in the last three ages. A bit of the champagne shade in front of my eyelid. And these are really nice, affordable eyeshadows hopefully everything in this tutorial is going to be super affordable well this isn't actually like a tutorial but it's just to play with products really I don't like doing tutorials that much because I don't think I'm a pro at doing makeup. I'm just like to try the products and show you, try to show you at least what they look like on. With another brush. And just put a tiny bit in the corner of my eye. So act like a like a highlight. And I can tiny bit as a brow highlight if you want as well. So it's dual purpose. I'm already looking really well put together. I like this is looking really good. I've got this eyeliner which just comes from a brand called Essence which is unavailable in the UK but you can order it on their website and they ship to the UK from the EU probably Germany or someone like that. It's called Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil I got this when I used to live in Spain and they do actually sell Essence products in Spain. And that was quite a while ago so I've had it a long time. I just thought it would go nicely with this look today. And 
And again, this is like a super affordable eyeliner. Alright. Just gives it like a nice gold outline. I'm really liking this. Okay, then if you can see that, probably hopefully you can. I think I'm gonna. I like that blush, but I think I'm gonna put on just a tiny bit of a different blush. So I'm gonna put on this Anyway blush, which is a pound, and it's the Anyway blusher in shade three. I'm gonna be using just an old blush brush I have from Smashbox from years ago. And it's just a really nice, pretty pinky shade. I'm just gonna put that on top of where I had the other blush, just to accent it a bit more. If you can see, okay. Now looks really good. So now I'm going to put on some powder. This is the e.l.f. high definition powder from Clear. It's really messy. It's really bulky and messy. It's just a white powder. I'm going to take this blush brush again and it's just so messy. I don't be using this powder because it's so messy. Um, but, oh, it's everywhere. Gosh. But, and just to set my makeup, then I'm going to put on some of this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunny. This is a YouTube favourite. I got this online, I think, at Fragrance Direct a while ago, because you can't get this in the UK. But the sure, I think NYC do one similar, and, and so this is good for pale skin tones. I'm just gonna go around the edge of my face forehead, cheek, and chin. Forehead, cheek, and chin. Where the light sun would naturally touch you. So down the nose, a bit around the forehead. And decollete. It's looking very nice. This highlighter which is actually a dupe for, well I think it's a dupe, I've never tried the other one, but this is a baked highlighter and it looks very similar to the Laura Geller baked highlighter in vanilla, because it's a very similar colour. I got it from Primark ages ago for a pound, so they, I don't think they still do it, but check out Primark's makeup because it is pretty decent, like some of the other stuff I've found can be pretty good as well. Lip pencils and the lip products are quite good. So I'm just going to put some of this on top of my cheekbones. I'm also going to try something new. I haven't tried for a while because I like trying new stuff. And this is the Barbara Daily Glow Up Cream Highlighter. It's just a cream highlighter I got from Tesco. I'm going to put it just on my cheekbones where I put the other one. You can put it on top of your cupid's bow. Yeah. 
you can put it in your number 11 you can put it under your brows it just feels so smooth the face eyebrow product I have which is the NYX Auto Eyebrow Pencil. This has a thin tip one end, which is just broken off. <laughs> I it just broke off. Okay. That's <laughs> just a thin tip at one end, and the <laughs> doesn't have anything on that end, but has <laughs> a brush. It's really weird because you just put it off with something there. Nothing, nothing there, but I do like it because it's in the shade charcoal, which is good for dark brows. Even though you think charcoal is a dark grey, but it actually comes out really well. Very light strokes in the areas where you're sparse. You can brush it up if you want to. And I'm just going to use the, the brush I'm going to do mascara now mascara I'm going to use is a Jordana Best Lash Extreme which I'm actually really liking just started recently really liking it it's in the shade 301 Black. I'm sure you've all heard about this. I couldn't get it in the UK because I don't sell Jordana cosmetics here. But I got it in the mail because I ordered it on Cherry Culture. And I like the brush because you obviously quite often have to comb up. comes up with too much product on the brush. This is what the brush looks like. I do quite like it. Apply the scar. There you are. It's come out really nicely. Hope you can see. I've just done one coat and I think that's enough. <laughs> This is really good mascara. Really enjoying this at the moment. Sometimes I do have to comb it out because it, I feel it can clump a bit. I think that's come up really well. I don't know. Over the camera to focus. Lips. I'm going to be doing this colour, which you might not be able to get anymore, but I'm not sure. It's the Super Lustrous Lipstick, Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick Pearl in the shade 407 Rose Dew. And this is what it looks like. like a curly colour. There you have it. It's coming off darky pinky on camera but it's actually like a light coral. Let's see if you can do a swatch in my hand. So like a curly pinky red. That is the finished look. I will do a before and after for you guys if you can't see this look right now. And also take photos. I'll put them in the video at the end. So I hope you enjoyed guys and uh, see you soon hopefully. Bye guys.